This boy is a victim of what the UN says is the world's worst hunger crisis. He may not look it, but Adan Moez is 14 years old. His uncle says that after spending months hiding from violence in Ethiopia's Tigray region, he weighs less than 15 kilograms. And he's not alone. The UN estimates hundreds of thousands of people are suffering famine conditions in Tigray, and millions more are at risk after fighting left many hospitals and clinics closed or destroyed. The combination of lack of medical care, most of the health institutions there uh, are inoperable, and lack of food will mean that people will start to die. Fighting broke out in Tigray in November between the Ethiopian military and the regional force, the Tigray People's Liberation Front. We're looking at almost a year of fighting that had a, a tremendous impact on the economy and agriculture and on the ability of people to produce food. So now what we see is that many people, they only have one meal per day. The quality of their meals have also deteriorated. Some people are now eating roots and flowers to survive. The UN says a de facto government blockade of the region is preventing food, medical supplies and fuel from getting in, something the government's denied. Ethiopia is, is a stain on our conscience because the, uh, the, the facts show that access to Tigray, where we have been wanting to have 100 trucks every day arrive in Tigray to meet the needs of the over 5 million people there. We've never reached that, we've never had that, and it's been about 10% of that over the last two or three months. The UN humanitarian chief says Ethiopia's leaders are peering into the abyss, and he's calling on all sides to stop the fighting before this man-made famine gets worse. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.